So in this lesson, we'll look at an easy fill you can use on the three chord. All right, so if this is your first time here, consider subscribing to this channel, hit the notification button so you don't miss any of the videos uh, I post weekly. Let's get right into it. So two types of uh, three chord uh, you, you usually use. Now, um, you can either play the three as uh, a minor right so in the key of c the three one two three you can play that as a minor or if you're in jazz you can play as a minor seven okay uh, but usually in gospel unless the situation really demands for it uh, the three is usually played as something like this okay you play as as a sus um a slash chord of the one okay so the three in other ways you can see as a one chord right played in, with uh you know by dropping the three okay so uh, the chord I'll, i like to use for the three chord is this uh, similar to this this is the one chord sus two of the one chord sus two of the one played over the three okay so uh, if I like to open that up by playing this down here, then use my index and thumb to hold the same notes here. Double it up, no problem. And use my thumb here, double the five up as well. So same chord, you can see it. You can see it's the same chord, but just doubled up. Okay, so this is the chord we'll be using, right? So you can see it as playing five one two five over the three and then you double the one two here or so do re so okay good so um one fill you can use is just run a melody that lands on this five like uh, and then you hit the chord right like Okay, uh, so let's say you're playing a chord progression where you have to play the one. Uh, then you, if you're going to the two. Right, so I'll, I was supposed to play the two, three, four. Right, so you can play that. Okay, so based on this, we can form some other variations. Um, so we can play. Okay, so same progression. Uh, two, three, four. Right, and this. Chord progression is quite common in gospel as well where you play to approach the four you go through the two uh, the three and then the four okay so okay so first option second option I play the ba ba da 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 so do ti la so one seven six five so right option three I like to do this sort of thing okay so the same chord but I play this. I just on my left and right I sing I sort of make my fingers sing this kind of melody do re do or one two one right so how do we use in the chord progression right. so ok 
Okay? So that was option three. Now, sometimes I, I do this uh, sort of thing on, on, the, on the three chord where I play, uh, I play a two major chord. Okay, so the two, uh, a step a step below. So I like to play this chord as well. It's a nine sus four chord, but not to complicate it. Uh, imagine this is the three. The three is the E. So imagine playing uh, a major chord, a whole, you know, a whole step below. So that's D. So like this, right? So sometimes I, I play uh, this. Okay, it, depending on the kind of music you're used to, it might sound okay or weird. All right, so let's try it in the chord progression. All right, and sometimes I do this sort of thing where instead of, so this is the major chord D, but I invert it down. It sounds much better like this, right? Uh, instead of playing it like this, I like to do, go take the whole chord a semitone down to the C sharp and run it up to the, the target chord. So you hear this quite a lot in gospel and jazz, right? So let's try it in a chord progression. Right? Right? In context. So that works as well. Uh, last option for the three chord. Uh, well, last but one. So this one, sometimes I play the, the three chord like this, in this kind of position. Same chord, right? You can see it's the same chord. All I'm doing is topping up here. So I'm playing this kind of two, five, one in my left, right hand. And this chord is actually called a quartile. Okay, quartile, and it's because it's separated in fourths. So D, the fourth of D is G, and then the fourth of G is D. So you can see it's as that. You see it's quite evenly spaced. Um, so I play that over the three. And sometimes I can take the quartile, a whole a semitone down, right? See that semitone drop of the whole chord, still fourth apart, and then I and land in the Target chord. So you you can do this a lot if you have chords like you want to land here. You can go <laughs> and it's perfectly fine. All right, we'll talk about that a bit more later. So let's say this is my chord. I can go. So uh, I'm going to this. Well, let's do the two, three, four. Okay, that chord counts first, and then my target. I mean, I could even do it for uh, this chord, where I can take the whole chord a semitone below. Right? If I take the whole chord a semitone down, it's going to be this chord, right? And go. So. And this is how you start to create fills. Just. Um, messing around with you know the way some of these things are just taking them a semitone down and bringing them a semitone up you create beautiful uh, melodies and the last one if you're using like jazz kind of a uh, three chord which is usually something like a, an e minor seven uh, sometimes i play this kind of melody right so, so let's say i go uh Okay, so, so if I go, that I can do. So all I played here was same chord, right? E minor seven. I just do. I took this inspiration from uh, the song, one of uh, Mobile Ring It All. I'm sure you've heard that before, right? So you can do that as well. But in this case, I just do. Okay, so uh, obviously you can 
always uh, take your time and explore more with uh, these fills. Uh, these are very simple fills which will apply almost in uh, you know most situations in gospel, jazz, uh, wherever you find yourself. All right. So um, let me know in the comment section below if you found this uh, useful, and if you you've managed to play them, you can take a video. Uh, tag me on Instagram or all the social media handles. Uh, thank you so much for joining me in this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.